Good afternoon. In this video, uh, which is uh, on how to troubleshoot, clean, and oil your cuckoo clock, and uh, I'm Mike, and uh, we have mybenchjeweler.com. That's mybenchjeweler, all one word, dot com. And we carry many supplies and tools that uh, the jewelry trade uh, needs and we manufacture most of our own tools so when you buy them you're you're buying that that item that is USA made. So this is a cuckoo clock and uh, not very many people will will uh, do a video on how to clean and oil these and troubleshoot them and uh, they are a little more complicated than some of your regular clocks which you just unscrew out of the case these have a lot of levers this is a lever here, another lever here, there's a level up, lever up here. Uh, there's a number of things you have to watch for. And uh, this is a eight day clock, so it's, it's a little larger than the, uh, the uh, one days. A little easier to work on, so that's why we decided to take this one to start with. Uh, have to be very careful about how things go back in. So, you want to kind of make a list of how you uh, take these apart in the first place. So the first thing you want to do is you want to inspect all of your chains. Now these are the chains which are connected to the clock and you want to just visually I, I examine them. What happens a lot of time is, is people wind these clocks up and they bottom out on the, the, the bottom part of the, the clock here or you'll get a kid once in a while, a little, a little, little child that doesn't know any better and he'll yank on these chains and they'll actually spread all these links and uh, if the links are spread they they will snag on the the uh, gear cogs inside the cuckoo clock and then eventually it'll break off of there and you have a weight on the floor so you want to take two pairs of pliers and you just want to push it around and push it back in so that that eight link is closed and you might have 10, 15 of them that are that way, so it takes a little while to check all your links to be sure they're all nice and tight. So that's the first thing you want to do. And uh, be sure that you check all, all your chains. Now on a two weight clock, you're going to have a one long chain, which, you know, is, it looks like there's two in the, in the boxes when you look at them like this. But it's just one chain, and it winds up. Like that. All right. So that's the first thing you want to do. Now the second thing you want to do is carefully turn it over to the front, and uh, you want to take off the the nut here for the cuckoo clock hands. Now, be very careful when you do that. Some of these are ivory, most are plastic, but they get old and brittle, and they'll break if you're not careful. Uh, that's just part of the problem with, with cuckoo clocks. So you want to un undo the, the nut. You loosen that nut. And don't lose that nut. You'll be hunting for one here. So there's your little nut to take it off. Now this has a little sprocket on there. Drill that right there. And this hand is lays in that. So when you tighten this back up you can slip the, or adjust this hand wherever you need it to so that it's when it just cuckoos for the first time when you're you're resetting it you want this at the top. If it cuckoos over here you want to loosen the screw a little bit and slide it up to the top and then tighten the, the nut up again and uh, that slip wishing will get you so you can get right on time. And I'll show you that again in troubleshooting here. Now, you take this hand off very carefully, lay it aside, and then the hour hand on the cuckoo clock just pulls off. So, that takes care of the little cuckoo clock hands. That's the second thing that you want to do. Okay, the third thing when you're working on a cuckoo clock and getting ready to troubleshoot the Make sure that you can clean it and oil it properly. Uh, 
is the uh, next thing here. Uh, you want to uh, undo the uh, chains. So each chain has a hook and, and a, and a uh, stop uh, ring on it. This is the hook side. Uh, I just take them here. There's the there's the end of the link where it gets in. I just twist it, and you can either throw that out or you reuse it. Sometimes they break, but that allows you to go ahead and pull your chain out. Now on the back side of that chain is a little ring which keeps it from winding through. You're going to have to take that off too because when you restring this, this uh, cuckoo clock movement, you're going to do it outside of the case and then you're going to put the uh, chains back in through the, uh, the back of the case here. So you just want to bend that and there you go. So that's the next step. You want to do both. So here's the hook. And a pair of pliers. Now you'll need two pair of pliers when you rehook this so that you can breed it back in tight. All right, now we can just pull right on through. All right, now your chains are out. Uh, you can use a rag with a little uh, rubbing alcohol. Just drench the rag with some rubbing alcohol. And you can uh, rub that up and down your chains and clean all the old grease and oil and dirt that uh, might be on your chains. Uh, they do build up over a long period of time. So, I take off the little ring. And now our weight chains are ready to put back on and we won't have to re remember which way they go. Now, the next step in these is that the uh, the uh, bellows have to come out now on some of the newer clocks these bellows are glued in back here they have a little dab of glue here and a little dab of glue right there right here and right there so when you uh, look at these there's going to be a screw on the outside let's see if we can see the screw right there and then they're going to have a nail or a little staple. And you can tell this is a newer version because it's got the staple rather than a little nail. And that holds it from the, the, the screw and that holds it tight. And that little staple keeps the, the bellow from sliding back and forth inside the case. So you just uh, take your screw out. And now you're going to want to use a wide angle screwdriver and you're going to come right up here at the very top and you're going to break that loose and break that loose. Now you can see in here, I'm going to show you. Now we're going to hold on to this right here with the, the bellow wire and the bellow wire always on the right side is usually connects to the longer uh, cam. This is a big cam here and then this is a shorter one. So what I want to show you here is you can see where I had to break that loose. And don't worry about that. Uh, you, you, and you don't need to re-glue these back in. I don't recommend that. The, the little staple that's down here, right, right there. Let me see if I can point to that again. Right there has that little staple. You just got to be sure that you're back in the right holes when you put the bellow back in. And screw it in from the outside and you're ready to go. <clears throat> That's how you do that. Alright. This is going to go back this way. So now the next thing you want to do is you want to get a little piece of, starch, little piece of scotch tape 
and tape that just like that. Okay? And that, uh, what you're doing there is, oops, I'm sorry. We'll redo that. We don't want to get these wires mixed up because this is a longer wire, this is a shorter wire. And, if, and it's real easy to get, the, get the, the bellow wires mixed up. These are the little levers which operate the, the, uh, the bellows themselves. <laughs> so I, I recommend that you get a little piece of tape and, and tape the first one on. Second one's not so bad because you know which way it goes. But you want to make sure you, you keep these straight. Now, the bellows. You want to look at your bellows and make sure that the bellow is not wore out. A lot of times they'll have a, a, a crack down the side of them and they're not going to work or that's why your, your, your cuckoo clock didn't work. And uh, you'll have to replace these bellows. They're not hard to replace. Uh, we can get you the bellows if you just uh, measure the, 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 the length of this for me and we can always order a set. And there are a right and a left set. So when you're troubleshooting make sure you look at these. Now these are really, these have been replaced. Uh, I can tell you that. And I have not worked on this clock before, but I know that these have been replaced because these are the replacement uh, bellows. So the old ones were shot and they, and they replaced them. <clears throat> so to get these off, you just hand your hand right here like this. And you just push these and it'll, this will break right loose. And uh, to, I use... Uh, Five minute epoxy when I'm gluing on a new one. So if we get one that's like that, I'll, I'll go through it with you. But you want to make sure there's a little bitty hole there and this, this has to line up on that hole and make sure that your glue doesn't drop into the hole when you're gluing these back on. You can see this has been glued before. But uh, that's, that's what you want to do with your bellows. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now I'm going to take out the other bellow and we're going to troubleshoot it. Now I've already had these bellows out the other day and I put them back in so you can see how this is done. So that's why the, the, uh, the glue wasn't on there. I, you can see where I, I, it broke loose right here and I'll still get a little better shot right there. Okay, now this generally, the one that has this little lever right here, this lifts the bird up and down. And it has to be underneath the, the, the bird when you put him back in. And he has to be clear of this here too. So when you're putting this back in, make sure that you come underneath to put him back in like that so that you're not catching that. Alrighty. And, uh, I know these are new bellows, so we're, we're just going to take a look here, but you see they're nice and f fresh. All right, you see the dust that's on these? That's what, what happens to your, your clocks if you don't clean them. So, all right, the bellows are out. So now what do we do? Well, the next thing we want to do is come through this little hole right here, and we want to undo the screw here on the bird. And so we come in here, well, maybe I can get him this way. Tell you what, might work better. Put your hand underneath. your hand underneath the, the bird in, on the front there and hold the bird and undo the screw and then the bird will fall right out and he's still hooked with a little door hinge. Now most cuckoo clocks, not all but most, have four little screws that hold them in. Some have, some have eight <clears throat> but this particular one has just four and I've already moved, removed two of them so OK, 
Okay, and there's one. Now there's four screws, but I've already removed two. Removed two. All right, once you get all four screws out, clock will come right out underneath just like that. All right, now we can clean the clock front and back. So that's the next step to do it, and we'll just move the case out of the way for the time being, is to uh, get your Q-tips out, and I'm going to show you how to do the back. You want to go right in here, and clean those. You see how much dirt is on that? See that? Got to get that out of there. And so we want to loosen it up. And this is the only way you can tell is by getting all this out of there. Then you can tell whether your cuckoo clock is going to be usable or not. And these use a heavy weight and these are very thin brass plates. So they wear out pretty easy if you don't keep them oiled. And most people don't. They run the clock for 10 or 15 years and then they wind it up one day and they, how come that don't work anymore? And it's, usually it's a bad, bad gear. Or a pivot is wore out. Alright, you can see all that grease that I'm getting out of there. Now, the next thing you want to do is, uh, I'll just use a little lighter fluid. I, I, I throw these in a cleaning machine and clean them, but I kind of wanted to show you how to troubleshoot these. Uh, I just put quite a bit in there, right? And we're going to see how we got that. Now, if you have another towel, paper towel or something. Go ahead and wipe that out. And you've pretty well cleaned out that pivot. All right. Now, once again, you're going to be tempted to squirt this in there. Don't do that. I want you to use the uh, cleaning swabs that we have right here. And uh, you have to get this uh, off of your, your gears right away. Now, somebody cleaned this a long time ago and it left a bunch of uh, chemical on it. And it ate through the, uh, the plates here. It ate through the uh, lacquer coat. That wasn't done by, by us. So, but I want to make sure. And then you can use a hair dryer to heat these up a little bit and, and make sure that all that fluid is out of there. But that's basically how you clean this clock so you can troubleshoot. Now, so what we want to do is we want to use a thumb and we want to come down here. And I'm going to bring the uh, camera in a little bit closer. Okay, so what we're doing, we're going to put our finger right here and we're going to wobble that. What we're doing, we're putting back and forward put pressure on this. What we want to do is watch these pivots and make sure that they don't move very far. 
And you see how much those are bouncing? Especially this one right here. It, you see this, this pivot is moving about one, one time again the thickness of, its, of the actual pivot itself. So it's bouncing around. I call it bouncing around so you can see it moving. Now this would probably run uh, and you might be able to get away with putting uh, another load of oil, you know, re-oil re in it. And uh, it would probably run for a while, but it's, it's really getting worn, and that's what we're watching for. Now on this side here, we do the same thing. We bounce down here. Okay, you see the black? This is your cog gear, which runs the uh, bellows. This is the cam, and it's it's pretty bad. You can see it. See the, the movement it's bouncing back and forth. It's not. It's also moving back and forth. But let's see. We so see that. And this one up here is doing the same thing. But you can't tell any of that until after you've cleaned your clock. So this, this one's kind of bad. The rest of these aren't too bad. So they're not bouncing around nearly as bad. So this one would have to be rebushed. This one and this one need to be rebushed. Okay, on the front side, it's uh, real difficult to be sure <laughs> what you're doing. So uh, we want to. I'm going to reload the the uh, cotton swab. And, you, know, you, you just see all this grease that's dirt and the sludge that's in there. And that's why you want to make sure these are clean. And I want to get a, a new, new, uh, Uh, you can see right here there's a gear, so you can follow it up. Up oh, there it is, right there. And there's one right here. Now be careful that you don't start bending all this stuff in. Because it's kind of a trick to get it back in, in line too. So, all right, I want to load the cleaning swap. Clean these out. And you're going to appreciate why we uh, have these extra long oilers don't want you to do that so you're going to have to be really extra careful how you oil that for the front so unless you're real brave you can take these apart there's a little clip spring that you can undo here and then all of this will come out and you undo this one and it'll come out and I I, I don't know that I would recommend 
what I'd call lay, laymen to do that or not. They're, they only go back in one way, so it might be the best way to do it. So, all right, once you've got these cleaned, you want to oil them. And uh, oiling is the same as any clock. You don't want to, don't want to try and over oil these. You just want to use a little dab. And these uh, clock oilers are made for doing just exactly that. And uh, we're going to look here for real quick. Uh, I'm, I'm checking side play on these gears. And I don't see any on this side. And this one right here. This is a C clip. You just get underneath of it like that. And that's the clip right here. That's once that C clips off. You can take it. This is called the rack. And then we can get actually get to this a little bit better. Yeah, we want to look at that. See that really needs to be replaced, but I think you could oil this one and get away with it. So I'm saying that after you clean this clock and oil it, it would probably run for a year or two, and uh, might not give you any trouble at all. So that's how you check these for, for troubleshooting before you do anything. You want to clean it. Use your cleaning solution, which I, I recommend that you get a little can of uh, odorless uh, mineral spirits. That works the best. It evaporates fast, so you're not going to have a film left over on your plate. So, uh, we can use the bushy, come back in here. And turn this. Okay. Now here is a C clip again. You just get underneath of it, put your thumb on it. There's your should be a little C clip. See how easy that is to lose? It's here somewhere though. This gear comes off. See these are all plastic. So you want to make sure when you when you put grease underneath these, you don't put oil, you use grease, that you use the right grease, which is the stuff that comes with your kit. All right. Now we can kind of look at the whole thing. And this isn't really all that bad. So. Somebody left an awful lot of grease and dirt in this thing. Okay, so now here's a little C clip. I'm going to back back out so you can see everything. So there's that little C clip here, which 
holds this one in. This one holds this one in up here. So then, you know, don't be as scared. I'm showing you how this is actually done. And then you can clean this whole thing. And then we're ready to re-oil it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. We've done the troubleshooting now. And uh, like I said, uh, we're looking at this and decided that it's probably... This one really scares me, but I think this would actually run. I'm going to come back in. I'm going to try and edit this a little bit so we don't have so much time shot up, but I think you can see that bounce around there. I think this this clock would run if, if you oiled it. I'm going to say we could oil this one, put it back together, and it would run for a few more years. So... Uh, next, next step would be to oil it. <laughs> Let's see if I got oil. Look at that, I do. <laughs> and, uh, see, we got an oil. See that. So, alrighty.